Um, Seen as is a massive industry. It's Oh, it's always lovely to be nominated. Is I mean, yes. I mean, I don't expect to get anything, but it's just, it's really nice. I was quite surprised, and it's a really fun night. So I'm glad. I'm lovely to be here. It's great. And I'll see everybody from the well, not everybody, but a lot of people from the film. And there he is, the boy. There he is. Hi, darling. See, you? you made it. You look lovely. Thank you. So Good to see you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And you. We scrub up okay. We scrub up okay. We scrub up okay. Yes. We do. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> and you're both nominated right. as well. I mean, how is that? You're both nominated. Oh, no, that's recognized. brilliant. I, what, you I think it's brilliant that he's nominated. Oh, he's so good in it. Yeah, well, good. So oh, I loved it. I'm seeing him out like that. So you know, there in the studio. Fabulous. The Richard Harrison variety, which goes to Gary Oldman and Vanessa Redgrave. Now, they are just, you know, icons within the industry. I'm very proud of it. It was a real um, labour of love for us. It was a very kind of personal story for so many people. Barbara Broccoli, who produced the film, knew the subjects of the film personally. This has been an endeavour for her for 23 years. So um, I'm glad that the film is out there and that people have responded to it and, um, and that we've been recognised here tonight. Fabulous when you do. Thank you very much. It's my friend Brooke Saldo. Oh, amazing. Lovely <laughs> colour. Very festive as well. Actually, we're matching it. I'm very proud to be here tonight. I feel a little bit honoured and um, I, you know, our, our, our British independence and the amount of talent we have here in every department is just, it's just as good as it gets. And obviously a family affair tonight, I mean, how proud are you in that, um, <laughs> that sense of getting awards? <laughs> um, I'm very proud of my mother and um, I'm very <laughs> proud. <laughs> uh, I grew up watching her and Richard Harris as Guinevere and um, King Arthur. So, and I've worked with Jared, um, so it, it's quite special. Well, uh, you know, I know someone who's very early on, you know, she established herself as a, a, a major talent. I think it was four years outside of leaving drama school, and um, and she's never come off that that peak, you know. So it's an incredible achievement, um, and um, and she's done it in the, you know, she's also made a point of always going back to theatre and working in the, um, you know, the big Hollywood movies and also in and, and in the British independent cinema. And, supporting directors and new talent and stuff like that and it's really important to do that. It's been incredible and uh, phenomenally overwhelming. You know the film has come out all over the world and has reached audiences all over the world and the reaction has been phenomenal. In the, you know, in the UK alone it, it's incredible to see people seeing the film five, six, seven times. It's, yeah, it's very overwhelming. Seven times? Yeah, yeah. I think there's somebody actually who's seen it 18 times. Oh, they tell you that? Yeah, yeah. No, they all do. It's lovely. It's so lovely that they get in touch. Um, yeah, no, it's incredible. It's Francis and Alex here, and uh, all of, all of our close friends of BFI, lot Mary Burke, Anna. It's really nice. It's we again. We've gone on this journey from from the from the beginning, really, and it feels so crazy to be like going everywhere with it so to now have a little celebration of maybe a glass of bubbly it's quite fun and Francis was saying once he's heard that someone's seen it 18 times really yeah have you seen it 18 times no I've seen it once <laughs> I generally have seen it once I saw it the the night before seen it one and a half times I saw it the night before you we went to Sundance and then I saw I saw half of it at Berlin 
and then I was like, I left halfway through. Yeah, it was quite, not because I didn't like it, I just, it's, it's, it's a bit much seeing yourself on screen. You talk about how it's, you know, can be more timely, especially yeah. been having the last few months yeah. and what's come forward. It's about the film really, the film for me is really important. It's one of my most important pieces of film that I've been part of. Um, and certainly now it feels very apt and resonant um, with all the sexual abuse things that have been an inequality of men and women. And so I think that for me it's uh, a vital piece of material and film and storytelling that I'm very proud to have been part of. So to be recognized tonight is um, just a cherry on top really. Um,